blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm the JP, so I'll take that swearing, and he can witness that as well. And, and I would like, if JP, if you'd be willing to do that as well. Sure. So. Yeah, I know. I had, to pull, I had to pull mine out too. I just, I'm right on the cusp. And, uh, I'm a lot older than I look too. Oh, well, yeah? How old? 41. Yeah, you don't you do look 41. Alright, so that's super. And then we don't need that second page. And let me just. So we got that to take care of, and then these, um, if you can just, again, if you can take a look at it, you know, presumably you're agreeable to all that, but sure. write your name and read the paragraph. This is all the things you're um, stipulating to. Citizen and complaint, oath, and affirmation. Yeah. I right, that. Okay. <clears throat> For two hereby I swear from foregoing information provided me is true and complete column. The delivery false misleading and untruthful. You realize that I complain of this just please. And this is your the your normal complaint process here? Yes. Okay. So those two the first three complaints were just verbal. I wonder why they didn't say anything about these. Um what, which complaints now? Lieutenant Mucci, well, he's, Sergeant I think Brennan. that's why we're here. You didn't take the complaint, right? And the other one happened on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it, it, our, our basically says, our recipe says, when practical, uh, we'll do this. Practical, or, when practical and when possible, have the form, that have this form completed. Okay. So, uh, you know, you're not obligated to do the form. If you don't want it, you don't have to. So it's basically print, 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 sign. Yeah. Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. 9-5. 5 5 I get a, a lot of kids during the week, so I lose track. You said you were you logged. Are you talking about like lumberjack logging? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm a forester. Yeah. Where? Huh. Uh, Gilson oh, in Sullivan, okay. New Hampshire. That's pretty cool. That's uh, hard work, I would suspect. That's why. Like you watch that show Axe. You know, it's stage. <laughs> yeah, it's <just> like <laughs> <a> stage. <laughs> it's like drama going on every show. <laughs> I wish I can get something out of half of the guys up there. They're like chain smokers and they drink all day. <laughs> Alright, That's so why would you I can't mind move. witnessing each other's form? Would that be sure. acceptable? Witnessing each other's form. Mm, terrific. And then you guys swear to uh, the contents of the form? Yep. Alright, so as a JP, I'll take that oath and affirmation. Did every officer get. Uh, uh, yes, because um, as just as a piece? like the summonses, the motor vehicle summonses. Uh, well, no, they don't swear to those anymore. They'll come think of it. They used to swear to the motor vehicle summonses. I don't think they do that anymore. But they do. Uh, when an arrest is made, there's an affidavit that's uh, written up uh, that kind of is a, a synopsis of the arrest, and they swear to that. So the officer swears to the supervisor, whoever's available. So <laughs> okay. obviously, you know. So since we work 24/7, most most of our supervisors are uh, justice of the peace. Alright, so, we're good to go. Now, the only other thing is, uh, I would prefer if I interview you guys separately, um, but if you want to be together, I don't have a problem with it. It's up to you. 
I just typically we just don't like the the oh yeah you know like we just like to get independent recollections without influence from another car. Right. So that's 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 why I prefer it. Um, again, it's up to you. You go first. Okay. Is that all right? Go, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll just leave my stuff here. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, I'll, I'll stop the recording. I'll just kind of recap what we just did on the recordings, and, and then we're good to go. Yeah, okay, thank All right. you. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, so, again. I just put batteries on, so. Okay, and then. Okay, we are now doing an audio recording of this interview. Uh, my name is Captain Maureen Tessier. It is uh, Thursday, May 5th, 2016, at about 10, 11 a.m. I'm here with Ethan... Glover. Glover. Yeah. And uh, we're here to discuss a complaints regarding some officers at a car stop on U-Haul, uh, excuse me, on Hooks Road uh, near the U-Haul um, you know, about a week ago. Yeah. Um, prior to the recording starting, we had reviewed a witness statement form with e Ethan willingly filled out. And he also uh, signed an oath and affirmation uh, that basically the information he was going to provide today was accurate and he was willing to proceed with the investigation and cooperate with the investigation. Is that accurate, Ethan? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, and we also had uh, J.P. Freeman was here with him during the, the, the time that uh, Ethan filled out the uh, witness form. And uh, they, uh, J.P. Freeman also um, signed the oath and affirmation. And uh, J.P. also had... Uh, a, a, a sidebar complaints regarding Lieutenant Vincent uh, offering his opinions about Ethan and uh, JP's behavior during this particular instance, which he felt was unprofessional. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, let's get right to the nuts and bolts of it. So the the, the car stop was, uh, I believe, was April twenty eighth. Yep. I think it. I can verify the date, but does that does that yeah. sound correct to you? That was my birthday. So. Okay. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> Actually, so it's Ethan E T H A N. And then spell your last name? G-L-O-V-E-R. That's easy enough. And yep. your date of birth? It's April 28th, 1990. 28th, 1990. And current address that we could reach at? Let's see, 161 Asheville Lot Street. Uh, can you spell that? A-S-H-U-E-L-O-T. Asheville Lot Street. And what town is that? It's Winchester. Uh, New Hampshire? Yep. My police canine came from Winchester, New Hampshire. Really? Many, yeah. many years ago. <laughs> Angus. Right. <laughs> and a phone number we could reach at. Uh, 816-542-0568. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, so again, uh, on April 28th, 2016, do you remember what, what time of day it was? I think it was between 2.30 and 3.30 in the okay. afternoon. And it's just an estimate, I understand that. Right. 2.30 and 3.30. Okay, and what? how, how did this happen? So we just we came across they had a couple people stopped on the side of the street and were undercover. Okay, and it's my understanding that this this stop occurred on Hooksett Road in front of the U-Haul dealership. Right. Uh, in here in Manchester. Yeah. So when um, we got there, they were in the middle. So of you this. guys walking in that area, driving by? What was driving that? by? Okay. Yeah. So you guys, and it was just you and JP in the car. Yeah. Just nobody else in the car. No. And who's who was driving? I was. Okay. Uh, so JP was a front passenger, I presume. Yep. Okay. And you guys are driving by going north or going south? Do you remember? Uh, towards Manchester. Okay. All right. Fair enough. That's southbound. And um, you drive driving by and you see a car stop? Yeah. Well, right. you tell me what you see, I guess. Well, we, we saw them pull over. They had the lights on. So we uh, pulled into the parking lot right there behind them. Okay. Did you did you see them pull the car over, or when you drove by, the car was stopped? They were already they? there. Okay. And the officers were in their car, getting out, already out of the car. Do you remember? They were all already out, and then they had the two people sitting on the on the curb. Okay. Um. So what did what drew your attention? I guess so. You you recognized it as a police car stop. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. You just saw the lights. Okay. <clears throat> So that you, you you go by, you look, you like you see a car with lights. Oh, that's a car. That's a police stop. Exactly. So, you want so we stop to record. Okay. Yeah. And just, uh, like, I mean, I I appreciate that you guys are uh, 
do these do this as part of your uh, movement, I guess, right. for lack of a better term. So that's all it was. There was not. Is there anything particular about the stop? You didn't know the people in that truck or anything like that. No. Okay. So you just drive by. You happen to notice it. You decide you got to stop and record sure. it. Sure. Okay. Exactly. Understood. Um, and then what happened? Uh, as soon as we got out, turned the cameras on. Uh, JP, you know, did the zoom to get the uh, the license plates on their cars and everything. One of the officers saw us, and he told everyone, "All right, you guys are free to go. Wrap it up. We gotta go." Okay, so he's directing that to the people that he stopped, not to you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As, yeah. as soon as they they caught a glance at the cameras, they wanted to leave. And is so is your interpretation of that is. Because you guys are recording, they mm -hmm. they decide to stop cut their stop shot right. and send. Because the other three, they, they why why confused. would they do that? I don't know. Because they they wouldn't talk to us. Okay. The other three officers, they they didn't seem to understand what was going on until they looked behind them and they saw us standing there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So then what happened? So you you guys start recording. Right. Um, do you do you? Uh, have any kind of interaction with the officers when you start recording? I asked, see, we both got, JP was talking to two of them and I was talking to two. They kind of separated out. Mm -hmm. And I asked the one I was talking to what his name was, and I didn't see his badge, so I asked what department he was. He wouldn't answer any anything. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually he started walking over to uh, JP and the other two, because they were, at the time, they were taking the picture of my car. You know, license plate, VIN number, getting all of that. All right, I'm sorry, let's back up for a second. So, you guys, just like so I said, so you guys are both, you and JP are together, mm -hmm. you each have a recording device. Right. And you're going up, and you're doing an audio and video recording, both, sure. of, both of you. Right. And you go up to the car stop together, presumably like side by each or whatever, or is, that, is, one, of you, is one of you more the um, initiator in this, or? He normally is. Yeah. Um, well, he was standing back getting the, uh, the license plate, I actually went up. Oh, I, yeah, you talked about the zoom lens. Okay. Yep. So you, you went a little, so he's kind of in the background doing the zoom lens right. to get the plates, and you're, right. are you engaging the officers at the time in any sort of comp talk or anything? It wasn't until the, the two officers walked towards JP, because we, we parked right by the car, we didn't right. realize it, but. Oh, oh by, the, by the officers? By their car, yeah. Okay. They had, like, normal plates and everything, so we didn't realize it was yeah. theirs. And so they walked back to him, and they got started getting an argument. And I was asking the guy who I was standing next to mm -hmm. his name. He wouldn't respond. And what does this guy look like that you were asking the name for? He's got a short red hair. Okay. Yeah. All right. Skinny, and fat, average. I'd say average. Okay. I think so. All right. And so you're asking him for his name. Right. He ignored me and uh, walked away. Walked towards where JP was. And I got all this on video and everything, so. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, this, so you're asking that officer his name, and you said you there were kind of two that you were talking with, right? And two that JP was talking with. So you right. talked to a short British hair guy, average build, mm -hmm. and who, can you describe the other guy at all? I, I mean, I know, actually, I know this video, so I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I will be able to figure it out, but right. just what, what you can remember independently. I can't remember okay. much, yeah. Okay. Um, did you ask the other guy for his name? Uh, no, because he was, you know, just talking to the one, because he was the one that, uh, he pulled out his phone and started recording me. They sometimes do that as uh -huh. a, I don't, I don't really understand why they think it's, you know, kind of funny. They'll laugh about it. Like, I, th I think they're trying to get a reaction out of that, but I don't get it, so. Okay. And that's just your interpretation of it. They're not saying yeah, yeah. that I'm trying to get a reaction out of you. They don't say right. that to yeah. you. Okay. They're not saying anything to you. He's just, he just pulls out his phone and records. Yeah. He's not saying anything? Is, does yeah, he say well, anything? He didn't say anything. I've just seen it a lot of times before where they pull out a camera. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'll do it back, you know. Okay, understood. <clears throat> All right, so, um, so he's pulling out. He asked for the guy's name, he was a give it, then the next thing you know, that guy who he asked the name for, he goes over right. to, to where JP and the other two are. Mm -hmm. And it's my understanding, they're, they're, cause there's a, where you guys parked was basically right next to where the other two officers had parked. Right. Okay, so they're presumably going in the direction of their vehicle. Yeah. Well, they two, well, the two that were with JP, yeah. they were with their car, and the other two, they had uh, 
they were pulled over on the street. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Which we were standing next to. Oh, I understand. Yep. Right. Okay. So the, the, okay. So um, so when the short guy um, doesn't give you his name and then he goes over to do that, what do you do? What happens then? I followed him over. Okay. So you followed him, and yeah. then what happened with that? Uh, they they were arguing a lot uh, with JP. He's he's a little louder than me, so. I think they, they threatened him with uh, arrest for interfering in all this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think JP told them that it wasn't you know, something they could do, especially after they cleared the stop and all that. Okay. Do you remember their it exact was, words? No. I'd okay. have to look at the video. Okay. They, yeah. You know, they, like, I mean, knock that video, knock that off, or so I'm going to arrest you. I mean, when you say threaten with arrest. Do they say, I'm going to arrest you if you do said, something, or...? They said something along the lines, we can't arrest you for interference or something like that. For interference. Mm. Alright. Which we've already looked at. I think New Hampshire versus Senio Ben De Leo. Yeah. You mm -hmm. can be within arm's length, and as long as there's no... I mean, there are certain limits in free speech, but... Uh, yeah, no... I mean, the Click decision talks about time, place, right. and manner, that mm -hmm. type of thing. And, yeah. And, and Memorializing the event as opposed to impeding the events. So right. I guess as long as you're not impeding the events. Yeah, exactly. Something yeah. like that. Okay. I, that's that's my words. I'm not exactly. I can't quote the law. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's right. But yeah. So um, so there there you can't remember specific words, but something to the effect of we can arrest you for interference. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, the short guy is saying to JP or the other two. The other guys? two. Or the other two yeah. guys say that. Okay. Um, and what happens? Well, how does James P respond to that? Uh, he was basically just telling them that that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. I mean, we get threatened He's with those... verbalizing that to him? I mean, he's saying something right. to the effect of, yeah. no, you can't do that? Or yeah. Basically, he, he's disagreeing with their ability to arrest yeah, him. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we get threatened with that all the time. Yeah. So it, do you remember JP's words at all? Or mm -hmm. No. no. Okay. Basically, tell them they can't do that. Okay, and then what happens? That's at that point they all got back in the cars, and they took off. Okay. All right. So, um, just so I'm clear, mm -hmm. you you asked one officer for his name, mm -hmm. the short, yeah. redheaded guy. You didn't ask ask any other officer for his name. Right. Okay. And did that officer ever give you his name? No. No. Did well, it? He did eventually, okay. because I gave him I gave him his name, and then uh, we're trying to get. Well, we, we, I'm sorry, you gave. Him I gave him name? my name. Oh, I gave. Okay. Because when he when he refused, I said I need the letter from New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. What's yours? I was trying to. Okay, you, so you said that to him. Right. You, you identified yourself verbally. You yep. said you're from New Hampshire Cop Block. All right. So was the one we got a name from the other three, they never. Cop Block. They would never say anything. Because I think. So you're saying, you said you kept saying, what's your name? And he said, well, what's your name? And then you said, well, my name is this, this, and this. And then... It wasn't... Uh, it was... Uh, something... It was long after that that he gave, finally okay. gave his name. So. But he did finally give yep. it. Okay. Okay. I guess... It's good. It took a while, but I guess... It's right, good. yeah. <laughs> All right. Finally pulled it out of him. All right. And... So that's, that's the number one complaint that mm. uh, he did... That, I guess, and I understand you're saying he, he didn't identify himself, but he, he did, so... Um, well, we got the other three, too. Oh, the other three. You know. But you never asked the other three for their names? No, he would have He would have asked the other two. JP, okay. All right, so... Um, all right. And then we got always always with the threats of arrest. That was the second quick complaint we, wanna, we wanted to put in. Okay. And... Uh, what do you mean always? So like, I'm just saying that it happens all the time. Which yeah. which which officer? In this been, instance, mm, which officer said something about being arrested? It would have been one of the two that was uh, with him initially. One of two with JP. Yeah. Um, references an arrest in some way. Is that what mm. you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I mean, is he is he discussing the potential? I mean, like threatening with arrest as opposed to saying offering people warnings so they don't get it like mm -hmm. it's not uncommon for us to be like at a nightclub and somebody's been in the and they're drinking and they're refusing to leave the area and there's a disorderly conduct sure. type of thing we're saying geez if you don't leave you're going to get arrested right. and it's, it's a way to motivate that individual to not get well, arrested they, you know? they had clearly stopped they were they were on their way out they yeah. were there was no reason they could have they would have been 
able to I have to give her even give a warning you okay. know? All right. um, and they took you know they took a picture of the license plate and VIN number and all that I think they were trying to take retaliatory action and so to be intimidating plate. or threatening to you know license plate and VIN number yeah so where's the VIN number on your car uh, it's in the driver's side up front. Driver's side. Yeah. So they must have gone into the driver's window and mm -hmm. I mean that's the only way you get it, right? Yeah. Which which guy did that, do you know? Uh it's one of the ones with him. And the guy I was talking to, he's the one that uh, took his video camera and took you know pictures inside the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and you're saying take a picture or taking a video, you're video not sure of, which or video of inside the car. Okay. Yeah. Because so he had it running the whole time. Okay. That's the shorter guy. Yep. Um, and what from what side of the car did he do that? The right side. Uh, so, so the passenger, passenger side, yeah. So and the other so the other guy was on, which the, other was on the other side, mm -hmm. uh, with it with a like I, I, I'm assuming a phone when you say camera I'm yeah. assuming a phone or well, did I didn't you see because I was concentrated on the one guy. Okay. Uh, this was uh, JP so I'm doing the picture. Okay, so <clears throat> and that's why that's exactly why I, I like you guys to be in separate rooms. Right. Just, just like I got to remember what you saw. Did sure. you see any officer taking a picture of the VIN number of the car? No. Okay. No. All right. But JP told you that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's, I mean, that happens. You know? Sure. Okay. Perfect. Um, did the officers use any kind of vulgarity, swearing, or anything like that? Like the obvious. Uh, no. rude, rudeness is a, a perception issue right, sometimes. Right, yeah. um, so I do. So we've got to get, you know, F bombs, calling right. your names, anything like that. No, nothing okay. like that. Um, so no vulgarities. Names. It takes a lot to offend me though, so yeah. I, I might not have yeah. noticed. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. In kind, did you say anything uh, vulgar, name calling, anything to the officers? No. Okay. Did JP say any? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. JP um, called them names or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you remember what? No. Okay. No. Yes, but can't remember. Okay. Right. Well, hopefully JP. Yeah, you probably will. Um, I mean, and again, it's all, everything's in video, so it's... Yeah, exactly. I know, sometimes this does seem a little redundant, but, and that's my next question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I saw snippets of the video, because you guys have your YouTube, it's on YouTube. The video uh, that you took that day, that's on YouTube, is that a complete video of what happened? Yeah. The complete video footage that you have of that encounter? Yeah, we don't edit anything. You don't, that's not, it wasn't edited, it wasn't uh, cut and paste, or, you know, I'm not a technical right, person, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, the video you took was from start to finish without any kind of interruption, and its yeah. entirety is posted on the YouTube thing? Yep. Okay. Yep. We got two videos, one from my perspective and one for his. Yeah, yep. I, that's, I do, like I said, I was able to click and see, just get a little basic gist of it, so I saw that, and then sure. I saw there's a video uh, of uh, Lieutenant Mucci uh, in the mm, yeah. Okay. So um, you oh that's oh that's I almost forgot about that. So you, yeah. so you <laughs> sorry about that. So after this stop, do you Straight guys come right in here? Yep. Okay, so you come directly to here, and your complaint is they didn't provide names and they were intimidating. Right. Yeah. Basically. Okay. And um, I'm it's my understanding that. You, uh, the lieutenant did not take the complaint. Is that is, he, is he openly refused? Okay. He said I'm not going to take our, uh, not going to take a complaint. Okay. Uh, he didn't give us a reason. Just he said because and uh -huh. didn't finish his sentence. Okay. And did you articulate what you were, what your complaint was about? Do you remember what you said to him? Or, or well, yeah. Never mind what JP. Do you, or did who did, who did most of the talking? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do you remember any kind of conversation with uh, the lieutenant in the lobby, or was it mostly JP? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't talk to him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you remember what JP said was his complaint? Oh, what did he what did he say to the lieutenant about what his complaint was about? It was it's basically the same things that we've said, mm -hmm. you know, here on the website and you know everywhere else. Yeah. Is that these uh had this stop with uncovers they weren't identifying themselves. They what threatened with arrests and took took down uh, VIN number and all that information and. Uh, I would say most likely ran the information. There's no other reason to be pulling it. Uh, we haven't been able to get that mm -hmm. information ourselves. So. Oh, so you're saying that they um, took ran that information the information and through, through, through the computers, basically? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's, we've been trying to find out if they did that. Well, I guess that'll be part of my investigation. Yeah. Um... Is there anything else I'm forgetting?
I think that's it as far yeah. as that stuff goes. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, we don't. I mean, this is just kind of an initial, right. you know. Um, and as I explained before, uh, I'm going to take this initial complaint. Um, I will give you a form once I'm done. I'll have you guys sit for a second while I type something up. It's just a general that you came in on this date and this time, and mm -hmm. you made this type of complaint. Make sure right. that we're all on the same page. You yeah. can get a copy of that, so you can have. Right. And then ultimately, this is reviewed uh, by the chief, and a decision is made about uh, who's going to investigate it. Sure. Um, and then that person. So potentially, somebody different could get the investigation and sit down with you yet again. Okay. This. That's kind of why we do the oath and affirmation. Just make sure you understand that you know you may be asked to come in again and talk, and we just don't want you to be surprised by that. Because okay. a lot of people, you know, yeah, they get frustrated. And they don't want to spend too much time doing it. So, yes. but we want to be as thorough as we can. Okay. Um, all right, so again, uh, failure to provide the name, uh, uh, making threats and um, uh, intimidation, I guess, for lack of right. better terms, kind of a, and um, potentially uh, running your information through a criminal database. Right. Okay. All right, I think we're ready. Are we good? All right, good. All right so that's, we're ending the interview with Ethan at about 10, 10.32. So, all right, sure. Let's see what uh, JP's up to. All right. We've resumed the recording. We're now here uh, in the interview room with J.P. Freeman, also known as Matt Phillips. Yep. Um, it is May 5th, uh, 2016, and again, it's about 10.33 a.m. And we're uh, just recording his interview regarding his complaints about officers uh, on a car stop on Hooksett Road near the U-Haul um, on April 28th, I believe was the date. Um, so just, uh, so it's J.P. Freeman, um, but your legal name is Matt Phillips. Yep. Um, P H I L L I P S. Yeah, common spelling. And your date of birth, Matt, is three eight seventy three. Three eight seventy three. And your current address that we could reach you at six five nine. Yeah. Marlboro Road. Mall M A R L B O R O U G H or just O. That's correct. O U G H. Road and Keene, New Hampshire. And just a phone number we could reach you at six zero three. Yeah. Four three nine. Four three nine. One two nine three. One two nine three. Okay. So again, it was um, 4.28, uh, do you remember what time of day it was? Um, it was between 2.30 and 3.30, it was mm -hmm. in, in that span of time, then, okay. give or take. And um, can you tell me about how you came across these officers? Yeah, we were coming to Keene in response to a complaint that we were filing. Coming to Keene or? Coming from Keene. Oh, coming from to Keene. To Manchester. Coming yeah, from I'm sorry. Keene. Oh, no worries. Um, we went through Hookset because uh, we are looking at some auto stuff. Yeah. Um, so we came that direction. So you come in uh, on Hooksett Road, just south from Concord. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. So south on Hooksett, and uh, what what ha And when you say I obviously got this information, but just to clarify with you as well, uh, uh, Ethan was driving. Yes. Uh, and you were the front passenger, and yeah. nobody else was in the car. Nobody else was okay. just us two. And you guys are driving in the vehicle south on Hooksett Road, yeah. and you notice something. Yes. What, what do you notice? Um, we were coming to Manchester to uh, actually speak with Dennis Hogan, the county attorney, so we were okay. coming here for a meeting mm -hmm. um, on an unrelated issue. Yeah. Um, uh, we noticed uh, flashing lights from a dark or silver grayish uh, Chevy Trailblazer. Right. Um, unmarked car with regular registration plates. Okay. And in my email to you, I believe I gave you the... the um, the plate number. You did, yeah. You did. Um, okay. Right here, we can just clarify it. Let's see, Thursday the 28th. Where are we uh, The plate number was 3808956. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Chevy Trailblazer. Okay. Okay. I and noticed uh, two, two unidentified people didn't see badges at that point. 
um, search in the vehicle. So we pulled into the beginning stages of the parking lot of U-Haul. Okay. And did you know, um, it's my, you saw the Chevy Trailblazer with the lights on it. There, was, yes. there must have been another vehicle, right? Cause it was, we, at was, that point, we didn't know there was one. Um, no, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm talking about, it was a car stop, so there was yeah, somebody. Yeah, traffic stop. Traffic, it was a, so there was another car. Yeah, it was a uh, Ford, I think it was a Ford pickup. I'm not sure. Don't okay. quote me on that. Yeah. Um, it could have been a big, big, it was a newer vehicle. And there, there was uh, one very tall, about 6'5", um, maybe 6'6", six, six, wearing a yellow construction shirt. Okay. Was the RO or driver. Okay. Um, and then they had a passenger with a white hooded, speckled, white hood mm -hmm. um, and they had him sat down on the curb. Okay so as far as you know just two people associated with yes, that, yes. that vehicle? Yeah. Okay. okay. I, at that point we didn't know because there was unidentified office. Yeah there was unidentified. Oh I see what you're saying. You yeah we didn't know if a couple of those were part of the vehicle or mm -hmm. not um, right. because you know we didn't see guns, badges at that point. Mm -hmm. So we walked up. And now are you saying that they weren't displayed or you just didn't see them? I didn't see them at that point. Their mm -hmm. backs were towards us from the direction we were coming in. Right. We, but it, once you got closer, you did see, you did in fact see that they the did first two, The first two I saw facing us had badges hanging around their necks. Yeah. Okay. Silver badge. First two facing. And the other two, are you uncertain for or not? Or uh, the other two I thought were actually other passengers of the car. Okay. So actually, one of them was searching the vehicle, so I kind of guessed. Okay. Did, did you ever at any point see those other two with badges on them as well? Um, after after I started calling them out on who they were, yes, they all turned towards me and I okay. figured out they were wearing badges. Yes. Okay. And and I and I'm not I'm just they're not you're not saying that it suddenly brings them out. They they wearing them. You, you just didn't see them initially. I don't know if they had them hidden at first or not. All I right. really don't know. Okay. I didn't see any badges at, at first. Okay. None. But you you never saw them pulling a the badge out. No, no, I didn't see. You don't see with a badge, and then the next no, video they're wearing. A yeah, badge. I, I, I didn't see any any of them trying to conceal. Okay. Right. Conceal their badges. I think they were hung out, or because there was search in the vehicle and their backs were turned, so we just didn't yeah. see them at that. Point. Just so it's just a matter of uh, perspective, point yeah, of view. Yeah, a visual aspect right. of it wasn't. Okay, understood. It wasn't clear. All right, so um, and you notice this car stop, and you don't know the people in that truck, right? I have now. no idea. So you know, no, uh, Direct relationship to it. It's just, it just is part of your organization. You guys want. Yeah, to we see a traffic stop. We usually okay. video. So that, and that's what the motivation was for to stop yep. it. Okay. Uh, to to stop and and videotape. Yep. Okay. All right. So and that's what exactly what you do, right? Yep. Okay. You keep a record of an objective view. Um. So you stop your car. You park right in the parking lot. You get out. Uh, are you both? Um, yep. Using video cameras or, yes. or devices or whatever. He's he's using his mobile phone on live stream. Um. And I use a, an HD camera, which is that camera right there. Okay. On the live stream. And, um, the camera. Okay. And, um, all right, so you, do, do you, when you, when you guys get out, uh, you know, how close do you get? Do you engage them in conversation? What, what happens, I guess? You, you're um, you're I out usually, of your car, you're activating your camera. My, 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 my MO is usually I let them clear the stop first and then okay. they start asking them questions. Okay. But at that point, um, as soon as they saw the video cameras going, they let they let the person go. And even on the video, it says you guys are free to go. As mm -hmm. soon as they see that, that detainment, you know, in our aspect, is done. It's stopped. There's no more detainment. So, um, I'm not sure if I understand. What do you mean? If the police officer says you're free to go, this to, to those other people. all gone. Yeah. It's done. So it's no more. At detainment. that point in time, you feel it's it's appropriate for you to then engage. To engage. Yes. I got you. All right. Understood. So I asked them who they were. They ref they didn't answer. Do you remember? Um, did you direct that question to a specific officer? It was or? all of them. Okay. What agency are you from? I said, yeah. and uh, I was just waiting for any of any one of them to answer. One of them said his name, yeah. but not the police department. But he said it too fast for me to clarify. It. Even in, on the video, I can't really understand. Him. Okay. But he's the only one that answered. Okay. But when I did that, I followed uh, two of them with badges hanging around their necks, with their video cameras going in my face. Like we're talking maybe about maybe half a foot away from my face um, and I had mine at pro close proximity too trying to figure out who they were. Mm -hmm. I followed two of them into a Chevy style truck 
that was ended up par it was parked next to where we parked. Uh, right next to because uh, I think it was Ethan's vehicle, yep. correct? Yep, Ethan's blue Ford okay. Crown Vic. All right. Um, so you, yeah, because I think Ethan mentioned that he, he kind of engaged a couple of them, and you kind of engaged. Is that almost that's, simultaneously? Yeah. yeah. So you you got your two. Can you describe your? I know this is the video. I've seen bits and pieces of it on the on the YouTube, but. Can, just for my own, just to make sure we're talking about the same people, can you describe the two people at all that you, you were engaging? Uh, they, they all looked exactly the same. <laughs> um, they, they all had... Oh, come on. They, 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 that's they, not they politically had, correct. They all look alike. <laughs> um, they all had ball caps on, baseball style baseball um, caps. Um, just okay. like the video, I think uh, one of them had a Boston Red Sox hat on. The other one had a military style hat. Um, I think it was sand digital camo with a... With a Okay. Subdued uh, combat flag on it. Okay. Um, none of them were answering any questions. Um, and two approached the vehicle next to ours, and uh, got inside. Okay. What, I, do mean, uh, what do you mean? They got inside their vehicle, their truck. Their oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. Okay, I thought they yeah. were okay. Yeah, and I, uh, I raised my voice because he rolled up the window. It was an electric electric window. Uh -huh. I was asking him who he's from multiple times over and over and over. So this is the driver? No, this is the passenger. Okay. Window, passenger. And basically the issue here is you're asking them repeatedly to identify mm -hmm. themselves. And I, and, I, and I quoted the eighth article of the state constitution which requires all public officials to be responsive mm -hmm. to the public and open at all times. Mm -hmm. And I called him an asshole. Okay. And I think I threw in a douchebag. Okay. And is the, the the two that got into this truck are they the same that were videotaping you or somebody or no the other two were still recording us at that point they were on the sidewalk where the traffic stop took place yeah um, when I started raising my voice that's when the other two walked up and threatened me with arrest and what did they say to you regarding they said watch your mouth. I'm like, it's called freedom of speech. He goes, no, it's not. Um, I could arrest you for disorderly conduct. Okay. And then they proceeded to ignore us uh, with repeated. And though after the, the first two got into the vehicle, they pulled right out immediately mm -hmm. and left and exited the parking lot. The other two came up to me, threatened me with arrest with that statement and they went up to uh, Ethan's car and they took a picture of their VIN number and started video recording the talk contents inside the vehicle. They took a picture okay, of well, the... you're too fast, you're too fast. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm sorry. So, all right, you guys, you, you, and, you, you and Ethan both get out, you both have your devices, you're recording. Yes. Um, is, and, and at this point, the truck is still there, but you're hearing them say you're free to go and stuff, so you feel like the stop is coming to an end. Does either you or Ethan say anything to the officers initially? No, not off the bat. No, not, not off the bat. I was talking to Ethan, I remember, I said, look, it's Tweedledum, Tweedledum, and Tweedledumer. Okay. But that was under my breath to him, but not to the police officers themselves. So you don't think they heard that? No. Okay. It shows in the video that he didn't react to it at all either. That was pretty, pretty low key. Okay. But that that's when... The, the, I said that right when the stop was cleared. Yes. Before we walked up to the near where the traffic stop was, the the, the guys in the truck, the truck they pulled over were already almost right. pretty, pretty much gone by that point. Yeah. As soon as they saw the cameras, they, they okay. patched that up really quick. Um, who's who's they patched things up? The unidentified. Uh, the officers. Yeah, at the, I'm still gonna call them not officers at yeah. this point because. In my mind frame, they weren't cops at that point. I only, I, I still don't know if they were cops or not. They, they were police officers, so I can verify that. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were Manchester police officers, oh, all oh, four of them. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, understood. You, you know where I'm, you know where I, I'm, I, I yeah. get it, you're, I get it. <laughs> I, I get your perspective, I guess. Yes, yeah. Um, and, um, so then, uh, so then the car, the car that was stopped and the two people, they leave, and then you got four officers, uh, and it's, and then two. You say you kind of gravitate towards two that start going over to that pickup that's parked next to Ethan's car. That's so, correct. Is that fair to say? Yep. Okay. Yep. I was and, talking to and them. And what are you saying to, to them? 
Um, I, bas I basically was asking them who they were. Okay. What is your name? What agency you're from? And they and then they kept den denying me access to that info. Not denying, but just not answering. They did not. Okay. Um, so they, so, so did, I did either of those two officers ever provide you with their name? No, or, I think one one of the other two mm -hmm. okay. said his name. But I didn't. I didn't catch it. It was way too fast. Yeah. It was too quick for me to catch. Okay. Um, and he didn't say an agency. Right. And and I know that the, those two are walking. Um, and see. They were still near their trailblazer. The other two at that point. Okay. When and they started hearing me raise my voice a little bit because I wanted the guy that rolled up the window to hear me. Yeah. About the eighth article of the New Hampshire State Constitution. When I called them an asshole really yeah. loud. That's when the other two took out their phones and came um, to me. Okay. Um, and the two that took out their phone and came to you, what happened with that encounter? Um, in, in that encounter, the other vehicle ignored everything that was going on and still left. Okay. Exited the, the, the parking lot. Yeah. And they ignored us, even asking us, us asking them who they are, what agency they're from. One of them blurted out a name, didn't get it, and they, they were videotaping me and Ethan. One went to the passenger, the driver's side of Ethan's vehicle with his phone. I believe it was a white phone. He took a picture of the VIN number or in the area of the VIN number. That's okay. alleged because he was taking a picture of something through the windshield. Um, but um, you're saying he was on the driver's side by the driver's door. Yeah. Obviously, the number's right there on the, on the yeah. dashboard. I was, I was more focused on the one that had the, his camera in my face. Mm -hmm. um, and he, that's the one that had the camera in your face. That one is the one who ultimately blurted his name out. Which, which is I, really quick, yeah. yeah. Okay. He came to the passenger side. He started videotaping and or taking pictures of the contents inside the vehicle. Um, he took a picture of the, the driver's side. What do you mean? I'm sorry. What do you mean? Took a picture of the driver's side. Um, he he reached in, took took a picture, or he was videoing all the contests from the driver's side into the passenger. Oh, I'm sorry. Side. But he, he was standing on the yeah, passenger. Yeah, he was side. almost putting his hand in the window. Okay. But he never did that. He was just very very close. Okay. The window was, the window was open. open or closed? It was open. Okay. But the he, passenger. He, he was reached inside. No. Okay. Um, he went into the the. He pointed at the rear window mm -hmm. of the rear seat and either took a picture or was video and contents in the rear seat. And then he proceeded to the rear part of the vehicle and took a picture or was recording the uh, license plate. Okay. Then what happened? Um, they left. Okay. And I followed them to the vehicle and I was, I was still video recording them at that point. Mm -hmm. And um, I called them a douchebag for not following the uh, Constitution. Okay. And uh, he told me to get back from his vehicle. I told him I didn't recognize it as a police vehicle or them as officers. Mm -hmm. He rolled up the window and left. And I did back up when he yeah. said back up. Um, I, and I know what you're saying, that you're saying you don't recognize them as police officers, but you kind of do because that's, that's, what, the, that's, the what you, that's what you guys you guys videotape police stops and, it's and, you, accountability. and you're driving by and you see them stopped and you see lights so you know it's a police stop and you stopped you know I, I guess I'm playing devil's advocate there's been, there's been, there's been 12, 12 people stopping people on, on rape victims the past you know 25 years so they could okay. be anybody alright so you're doing this as a public safety for the potential no I do it for accountability because I don't trust any detectives in the way they're trained okay I, and I understand that you don't trust detectives and you don't trust police, but they can again, plant, I mean, they can plant evidence. They can search a car without a warrant. They can search without cause. I mean, mm -hmm. did did the person even give consent uh, consent to search? Right. All those need to be in the public's eye to make sure police are doing their job exactly how the Constitution and their oath requires them mm -hmm. to do it. Uh, I mean, there is a process too that people feel like. Um, Evidence was seized unconstitutionally. Well, they, they, they can suppress that evidence if, they, if they, Do they know they that though? Proceed. I mean, I know that because yeah. I'm a law degree. But they, do, do they know that? Yeah. You know, oh, they, they, oh, know. They, they they don't they they don't have that. Uh, most people don't have that that general knowledge, and the police don't have that general knowledge. Yeah. Um, they can plant evidence. There's no objective view, and then that, that raises a huge question on why. You know, we're coming after Manchester police, especially because yeah. their false perception of them thinking they can take a recording device for evidence purposes without a warrant and or subpoena. Okay. 
Um, that's why we started coming to Manchester to begin with. Okay. Um, and, and to get an objective view of a, of a traffic stop is, is, a, is a fundamental right um, that police officials need to be recorded. Uh, according yeah. to the, I, th I think we're all on the same page with that, the collective oh, yeah. decision and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, and, they, they, and, and it sounds to me um, that, from what you're saying, you didn't interfere with the stop, which is you know great. You know you, you memorialize the stop, but you don't impede it, that, which is all part of the whole click thing. I'm not, I don't have the exact language. Well, there's, there's actually but, um, there's actually a, another landmark case. It was. New Hampshire versus Samuel Bundilio. Bundilio. Oh yeah, Ethan mentioned that one. Yeah. B O N D O. Yeah. I yeah. Don't know. It's B I O N D O L I L L O. So yeah. Bun Bundillo. Okay. It's probably spelled, you know, pronounced with a Y. Right. Samuel Bundillo. Um, the court, uh, under appeal, on New Hampshire uh, Supreme Court ruled that you can come within arm's length and be verbal with extreme public scrutiny without. Getting an arrest of interference because you have to physically interfere. Arms length, don't they? Say they it says arms length. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check that out. Yeah. Okay. You can come with it even yeah. in arms length, which I don't do. <laughs> I yeah, don't I, do. I, you know, frankly, I mean, you know. I got, I got almost 600 videos of yeah. doing this for four years, and from I never. What, really from my initial viewing of the video, it does not appear that you would be able to stop. So. No, I never usually do. And, um, yeah, you can't really capture everything if you're too close. Right. That's true. That's true. If you need a wide angle lens. Um, Okay, so just so I can recap a little bit. So basically, uh, one issue obviously is uh, the officers refusing to ad identify themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another issue would be um, illegal investigate and legal investigation using intimidation tactics against the press. Using, oh, remind me of something with that. Using tactics against press. And for, for the sole purpose of right. intimidating, and with, without suspicion of a crime. Without, all right, understood, suspicion of a crime. And then, um, with that, is that it? I mean, I think that's basically just it, right? And, and illegally running our name without suspicion of a crime or detainment or traffic mm -hmm. stop, which I know they did. Um, uh, oh, you're saying like through the computer system, the NCIC? Yep, they, yep. Okay, illegally running name. NCIC. So, uh, all right, and then I'm trying to think. So at least the the driver, they didn't know my name at that point. Understood. So, yeah. Understood. Um, and did you let me let's that thing you're talking about the press because I there's something I see that um, uh, what do you call those lanyards and placard or whatever. Do you have do you were you wearing that? At the time, oh, yeah. Stop? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and did you right. identify yourself, verbally identify yourself as part of the media? I believe twice, twice, yeah. Um, We're from New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock and so did Ethan. And you were wearing that uh, ID. Um, and I usually, badge. I also usually have a big, big blue thing on the back of my uh -huh. shirt that says press and it's okay. got a reflective thing on it. Did you have it that day or not? I believe I had it on that day, okay. yeah. I just washed this so I had to take it off. No, understood. But 90% of the time, I usually have that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then, so, ultimately, so, and just so I want to be clear, that the two that you kind of were first talking to, they were refusing to identify themselves, but they never... They, 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 they totally they, ignored me. They yeah. just ignored you, got in that truck and left, basically. Yeah. Um, so they did have that issue of... Oh, of, oh, uh, actually, one of them, um, when they were getting into that car parked next to Ethan's car, yeah. I asked them, you think this is an effing joke, don't you? Because, yeah. in fact, I do. Okay. He actually said with jokes, so that's basically one thing I needed to add. That's on that got caught on video. At least the audio part okay. of him saying it. All right. The driver. Right. The driver of that truck next to that park next to the Ethan's car said that. And didn't you say that was it one of those two that threatened you with arrest? Um, it was the passenger on the way up. No, 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 no. no. Neither one of those threatened with arrest. It was uh. The short one with the military style hat that ended up threatening me with arrest. Okay. And um, so those first two, um, you think this is an effing joke? Because they heard me, yeah. he heard but, my but, voice. But no, no video, they weren't using their cameras to, to Not the you. first two, no. And, um, um, and they ultimately left. Yeah. Um, the, and they didn't say anything about uh, uh, arresting you. No, nope, just, just comment. Pretty much non, jokes. non verbal to you. Basically. Except for the comment of my jokes. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
And the other, the shorter guy with the military thing, he, he's the one who threatened you with the arrest. His baseball cap, yeah. yeah. And again, one more time, his actual words to you regarding the arrest? Um, he said, uh, watch your mouth. Don't swear. And I said something to do with the, you know, it's a matter of free speech, and he says, no, it's not. I can, ar I can arrest you for disorderly conduct for that. That's all on video. Okay. And all yeah. our videos, and, and I, 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 yeah, I, all our videos are raw. We don't okay. edit nothing. Well, that was uh, I was going to clear. Ethan kind of talked. Oh, we talked about that. I was going to also clear that. Just while we're on the topic, um, I was able. I know that there's a YouTube channel with your videos on them, or I don't know. I went on YouTube and I saw the. I saw. I was able to look at the videos real quick. I didn't have a chance to really look at them, but um, what I see is the complete entire video. Correct. It, that, that's it has from edited, the entirety. Nope. It has, so from no, start no to finish, any video that you have of that car stop, it doesn't is, even get trimmed. Is, it's not trimmed and it's all yep. intact on the. Okay. If it stops, that means the recorder itself stops. Okay. Okay. And like, so, I mean, the officer's now when he's when he's when you're having this discussion about an arrest and disorderly conduct. He's not taking out his handcuffs or anything to that effect. It's nope. a discussion about whether or not your um, vulgar language is. Oh, he said he was going to arrest me. He yeah. said he was going to arrest me with arrest uh, for disorderly, and then I deliberated that in, elsewhere. And in the meantime, he proceeded to take information from the vehicle. Okay. From the R car. All right. But he, but he did obviously didn't arrest you. No. Um, didn't make any. F physical effort to walk towards you to arrest you or take out his hand. No, he he got like pretty that. damn close. I mean, yeah. we're talking four to five inches. Um, he got close to you or you got close to him? He got close to me. Okay. They, 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 at that point, engaged us. While we're paying attention to the two officers getting into the truck, leaving, they're the ones that approached us okay. and engaged us. And when you say you were paying attention to the two officers getting into the truck, leaving, how, how, what, how exactly were you doing that? I was asking them who they are and I was repeating the, the amendment. And, and, and um, were, they, were you walking now? How, where were you positioned when all this was happening? Um, at that point, I was on the passenger side of their truck. Um, but how'd you get from. Um, I followed. The car stop. So you you walk yep. behind them. Okay. Oh, with them. Yeah. With them. Mm-hmm. I get and, and you know where I'm going with this. Could they, could it be interpreted that you know you you know like you know sometimes when someone's walking behind you like what the heck you know they weren't alerted. Yeah. Okay. They 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 weren't bothered by my presence at all. Mm -hmm. Their mannerisms were uh, pretty calm and cocky actually. Mm -hmm. And that and that raises a problem. <laughs> They're not afraid of the public at all, and they should be. Right. But I'm not so sure if they should be afraid. I don't. I don't know. If we want people afraid. I don't want the public afraid of us. I don't want us to be afraid of the public. Well, I mean, they are. We, we, there's certainly there's certainly certain people in the public that pose a danger that we can all be. Well, you lost you know, what four officers in to, like a hundred years. Yeah, yeah. I know. You lost like almost four thousand people in the past two years of unarmed unarmed shootings. So we have a lot more to worry about with police being trained the way they're trained. Okay. But that's a political view. Um, yes, it is. Um, okay, I think I've got a pretty good idea of what happened. And then just next, the next part of this, obviously, is you guys, presumably you leave that after everybody leaves. You guys leave. You mm -hmm. come in here. Or did you go to your appointment with Dennis Hogan first? Or did you come um, in here? We actually ran into a problem there, too. Yeah. Um, we were classified as free status, so they wouldn't let us in because they thought we were going to videotape contents of inside the... Oh, the courthouse, is The name? courthouse, yeah. All right. So we have a complaint on that, a whole separate okay. issue. <laughs> let's yeah. right, let's, let's it was point. a bad day. Just, just so I understand, though, did that happen... Did you go there first and then come to the police station, or did you go right to the police station? It's not that it matters, I'm just Yeah, wondering. yes, we went there first. Okay. Yeah, All we right. did go to the courthouse first, courthouse and then we came next. here. So you couldn't have a meeting with him, so you come over and talk to... And we and talked to Lieutenant Mucci. Lieutenant Mucci. And then, it's my understanding, what did, what did you you come in to talk to Lieutenant Mucci? Uh, I just gave him, the, the front we gave him the facts, and he basically almost immediately took their side. Okay. Without you, even can knowing... Can you tell me what facts you relate to him? Everything that I told you. Um, um, bits and pieces of it. I can't re recall that conversation. It's on video. Mm -hmm. um, in its entirety, you'll, have, you'll yeah. have to watch it. But basically, we're just trying to file a complaint on the officers. Basically, what we're doing now, but verbal. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, he was um, 
extremely biased off the bat because he used the word phrase, you guys, we know all about your organization, you've been here before, type of language. So um, okay. we understand, me and Ethan understand right. that this free state is in liberty people here, yeah. and the protesters and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm getting sick of being classified in that group because we don't know any of them. Right. Uh, we don't know nothing. Oh, about so you guys are, you distinguish yourselves from the free state. We're, and we're, I, I we're not FSP at all. We're okay. not free states at all. Okay. No. All right. And so ultimately, you, your complaint with the lieutenant is he refused to take your complaint because of uh, my opinion. Yeah. He was biased because of the free states. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and he was sticking up for his officers. My guess is he's friends with one or two of them. I don't. I don't know. Mm. But he definitely took a one-sided view automatically and refused to take a complaint. Okay. Took one side of you. And when I got when I got a little strong with my language with uh, when it comes to the law, mm -hmm. he used his authority to remove us from the building. He didn't want to hear the law. Yeah. And he even accused me of yelling, which is, was a lie. I never yelled. I don't yell. Okay. okay. I'm just you know when you're from the city. And you're from a big family. This is how yeah. I sound 24 7. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, um, officers refused to identify themselves, um, uh, used. Uh, did we, did, I can't remember now. They didn't use any vulgar, no vulgar. They didn't swear at me yeah. or anything. Okay. Um, um, but I really, really would like to know who they are. Uh, you'll get their names in a minute. Um, just what I'm going to do is um, I got a um, a form that I'm going to fill out that you're going to get a copy of, okay. and uh, and so that's why I'm just trying. Is to... Is that your version of uh, the 91A? Or? Um, no. 91 or is it a, a total? No, it's form? a it's the it's a complaint control card. It's how we um, keep track of the complaints, basically. Okay. Yeah, so we we'll have, have some. Yeah, we have yeah. some similar. So you're going to get a copy of it, and it's um, and I'll have the officers' names, uh, and I'm in a brief synopsis of the allegations, and that's why I want to make sure. And I'll have you take a look at it because I can always change it if, you, if you're not concurring with what. I want to make sure that I'm expressing your your complaints accurately. Yep. So. Um, These are just copies. So of all the emails. officer refused to identify themselves. Uh, I think we actually went over this already. Yeah. And they call this jokes. We're all that. Yeah. So legal investigation. So what happens um, when you have kids? Legal. Okay. I, I I think I've got it. Is there anything else that you want to add that I didn't? I mean. On that team? issue, no. Okay. All right. No. Can I um, stop this interview uh, and and do that complaint form while it's all fresh in my head? Yeah. And then you yeah, said, can I get Ethan back in here? Uh, absolutely. I, I, he can come back in. I'm gonna go in. You're gonna give me like ten minutes to type this up so I can give you guys copies. Yeah. And then, uh, then we can discuss what that is. All right, so let me just, again, so this interview with uh, JP is ending at 11.02 on uh, May 5th. All right, hopefully I didn't lose it. <laughs>